Welcome back. Lamp Ace Ninja here with you on another H2O mukbang. Yes. There you go. We just popped the top on this bad boy. We got our no copyright music trap music playing in the background. Guys, water. Whoo, I'm gonna tell you right now. Two to seven. What? I just upped it. Yes, I did. No, no, no. We can't be doing one to three. No, sir. No. We gotta flush our body out two to three times a day. I'm gonna say up to seven, okay? I've done up to four. They say seven's good. Gotta bring awareness to this. Gotta clean out a cellular level. Here we go. I'm dedicating this one to you, boy. Check this out. Most of y'all out there are thinking, you know, I can't even drink a gallon in a day. That's what I hear all the time. You can. <laughs> On top of drinking this water, and another water, and hopefully another water, which will be my plan, I got six smoothies. If you check out the video before, this morning I made nine smoothies, so I got my smoothies cut out for me. And you gotta have your organic honey, man. You gotta have it. Golden medicine. It's the secret medicine, guys. It's just like when you're doing the lemon juice and the apple cider vinegar. Yeah, I'm gonna feed you, baby bird. You got to have the knowledge. You got to put it into effect. Put it into effect. You got the garlic. You got the ginger root. Come on, y'all. Come on. There's a lot more stuff coming down. And yeah, you got to do it. it. Am I repetitive sometimes? If you've heard me on a lot of my videos, by the way, if you're here for the first time, welcome to the channel. If you're back, really do appreciate you having it. If you would, please like the video if you like it. <laughs> if you think about going plant-based, um, yeah, please subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Here we go. You know what? Here it is. Hey, Google. Uh, how much water can you drink in a day? On the website mayoclinic.org, they say about 15.5 cups of fluids a day for men, about 11.5 cups of fluids a day for women. People also sometimes ask me, is a gallon of water a day too much? Do you want to hear the answer? Yes. On the website health.clevelandclinic.org, they say, for most people, there is really no limit for daily water intake and a gallon a day is not harmful. But for those who have congestive heart failure or end-stage kidney disease, sometimes water needs to be restricted because the body can't process it correctly. Hey Google, does water clean you out at, at a cellular level? I don't know, but I found these results on search. <clears throat> hey Google, is it good to drink two to seven gallons of water a day? I don't know, but I found these results on search. What's this say? You can drink 27 to 33 ounces of water per day. This means drinking a gallon of water in an hour wouldn't be. Let's check it out. This is interesting. I, I've never, I don't recall asking Google these specific questions. So learn how much water, okay. Staying hydrated, weight loss. A water intake calculator. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so big old anyway, gotta get you drinking water. Will I finish it? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I might. Whew, I haven't had any water yet this morning. I've only had, uh, I did do my workout. Remember guys, consistency, consistency. Consistency. Gotta be consistent. Consistency doing what? Consistency getting on your grind every day. What's that mean? Well, for me, and you're gonna have your own thing going on, but you know, I gotta tell you, 50 push-ups a day really makes a huge difference. Be doing 50 to 200 push-ups, go for it. Crunches, you're gonna start off, you know, you might not, you know, you might be at the point where you're like one and you're done, but eventually you're gonna be 1,000. You're gonna do those crunches, guys. It took me a long time to build up, and I'm nowhere near where I wanna be. We are all perfectly imperfect. I want you to love yourself where you are today. 
I want you to project where you want to be tomorrow and I want you to go for it because you can. The way you can do that by doing water mukbangs. <laughs> That's part of it though. Juicing. Uh, there are so many different things you can do actually. Uh, just really hone in on a plant-based diet. Those smoothies make it really, really easy. I uh, Yesterday I drank three smoothies and whew, I probably ate 14, no, nah, not 14, maybe eight bananas on top of that. It's just crazy. I, I don't know why I was just, my body was needing more energy to repair and I could tell it, so I just went for it. So Don't worry about eating too many. Don't, whew, oh my gosh, I'm gonna just share something with you right now. Do not count your calories. No. No. Those people that say count your calories, I would disagree with 100%. Those people that are saying count your calories are the ones that are eating tons of saturated fat that are clogging up their arteries, they're getting the heart disease, they're getting the colon cancer. Do you hear me? If you want to get healthy, don't, don't count saturated fats. What you want to do is alleviate processed saturated fats. So what I'm saying to you is this, Eat as many avocados as you can. I was eating 12, 8 to 12 avocados a day. This is real stuff, okay? Really, you want to concentrate on the avocados. I don't care if you don't like them. <laughs> Learn to like them. You can mix them up in anything. You can add a little salt to them. You can mix them with something else. Put um, organic honey all over them. Make them sweet for you. But you've got to get that type of fat. The good fat gets rid of bad fat. No one ever tells you this stuff. This is real information. I'm living proof. I've done it. You you don't know what to believe out there. Everybody's filling you full of lies. They're, they fill you full of misinformation. They want to get you confused. You don't know which way to go. I'm telling you, eat live food. Do not care about how much fat you eat if you're eating avocados. Because avocados have a way of slenderizing you down. Right now, if you're trying to slender down, stay away from any nuts or seeds. The only seeds that I would really stay close to would be like sesame seeds. You can regulate your nuts and seeds, but nuts and seeds, they have to be raw. They, they cannot be anything but raw. If they're anything else, there's going to have subjective stuff added to it. You don't want those roasted. Those roasted are going to make you want to eat the whole thing and, ah, and they're going to have salt in them. No, sir. When you eat it, you got to eat it. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm off on a tangent. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the water my brain. You depressed? Drink water. Sluggish? Water. High blood pressure? You gotta drink your water. You wanna clean yourself out? You gotta drink your water. You wanna lose weight? You gotta drink your water. You are dehydrated. 80% of the people out there are dehydrated. And their bodies are accessible for disease. The only thing you have to do is make it a priority. When it's a priority, you're gonna drink your water. You're gonna drink your water. I don't know, I just don't feel like doing anything. Right, because you're depressed, because you need to drink water. You know? um, it, it's amazing. I'm not thinking clearly. My memory's not that great. Well, it's probably your diet. I mean, obviously it's gonna be your diet. And it's that your lack of drinking water. It's common sense stuff. It's amazing how the common sense stuff just isn't available to us. They don't share it. No one shares it. I'm sharing it. <laughs> and guess what? I mean, I'm just giving all this info for free. Hey, if you want to, please share this video. Please share it with somebody that you think it might help to change your lives, guys. Look back at my videos. I got lots of smoothies. I got the juicing. This past summer was absolutely awesome. Thrilled to have y'all here. Gotta tell you, the number of subscribers are on the channel right now is absolutely amazing. I think we've grown by over 200 here recently. Way over. It's just exciting stuff. Thrilled to have everybody here. And here's the beautiful thing about it, I'm not guessing. I've been plant-based for 10 years. I did my time in the trenches. <laughs> I'm on no meds. In the trenches, I did my time. No meds. I've been sick one time in the past 10 years. And no, I did not go to the doctor. I'm not telling you not to go to the doctor. No, none of this is medical advice, okay? But I am telling you, I feel really good. I used to have pains. I used to have allergies. I used to have sinus problems. I couldn't go outside during the summertime. 
Whew, I would lose my voice two times a year. I'm in Tennessee, you know how bad allergies are here. My my sciatic was hurting, my knee was hurting, my back was hurting, my shoulders were hurting when I was sleeping on the sides. I was full of just horribleness. And when you start off and you're close to 400 pounds, and what you do is you hit it hard, and you're like, no, 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 no. It's, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I deserve better than this. I'm better than this. But you don't even know how good it can be. And then once you do it and you find out how good it can be, you see, that's what I'm talking about. And then you're mad. You're mad nobody told you that if you just went plant-based, your allergies and sinus problems would be gone. And now I can go out and ride a bike. You know, Now I can go out and hike and do everything I want to. Obviously, I did lose some quite a bit of weight there. But the transition was phenomenal. I got rid of gluten. Gluten was horrible, horrible for everybody. They give you misinformation, say it's not gonna affect some people, only some people are gluten intolerant. No, my friends, everybody's gluten intolerant. It just depends on if you start to feel it or not. Get it out of your body, it causes inflammation. The meat and the dairy cause inflammation, the gluten comes in and boom, it causes the inflammation. And if you really want that energy, that's the energy that you need, my friends, I'm just holding these up because I have tons of them here. Actually, I have that I just went through what 36 bananas this morning so I gotta get more bananas oh boy I gotta need to hurry here stick around I'm gonna feed you baby bird I'm gonna feed you with the information that you need you and I are gonna go to new levels together that's what it's all about being perfectly imperfect consistent every day pushing it that's why I show up. I don't think I was here one day this weekend. You know, I was just a little busy. But that's why I show up. That's why you show up. When we went, when we went to um, the battlefield, we we juiced a bunch of grapes, and we took a ton of bananas. Same thing as banana smoothies. You know, just not squished up. And we did smoothies before we left. So, yeah. My point here is that if you're going out to do something, if you're going to do something different, if you're going to be doing something on the weekend, if you're going to be going out, boom, and you're not going to be at home, and you're like, well, what do I do? I usually stop at a restaurant, and I eat at some restaurant, and we have fun, and no, no, when you go someplace, do your fun thing. But it doesn't have to incorporate foods that are just going to slow you down and poison your body. Come on, highly processed food, that's what it does. I'm not trying to be negative, I'm just trying to be real with you. You know, who, who, who in your life has been real with you lately? Well, when it comes to this kind of stuff, hopefully you think I am. And I am being real with you. And people think I'm extreme. And you got to be extreme. To be extremely healthy, you have to be extreme. If you're gonna be average, you will have, when you're 40 years old, you will be on four pills. Be average if you want to. Well, everybody else does it. Everybody else is on four pills. Not everybody else, but you gotta take a look at the population, okay? The average person, <laughs> who wants to be average? Who gives a shit? She sizzle about being average. The average person's gonna get heart disease. You're gonna get type 2 diabetes. I'm just blaming them. You're gonna get breast cancer. Why? They've linked it to a lot of stuff, folks. Come on now. Testicular cancer. You want that? Obesity. Come on. Come on. Let's just have the light bulb come the on. <laughs> You don't be average. Oh, I don't want to stick out. Oh, I don't want to upset people. They're all going in to shove into their mouths. I don't know. Fried chicken. And let's see. Fried chicken with taters. <laughs> the taters are covered in butter. The butter clots your arteries. It causes the heart disease, the type 2 diabetes, and the colon cancer. I'm not. Oh, no, no, no. And the chicken is made raised in a factory farm. Injected full of growth hormones. Then stuck full of... Salt and 
Oh my gosh! And and then I mean it tastes good, but it's it's in my humble opinion, it, I, I, it's very unhealthy. There's nothing healthy about it. And people say I'm eating it for the protein. Oh my gosh! And some people just still think. <laughs> some people still think they associate meat with protein. You know, you really have to unplug from the matrix. You have just, oh my gosh, you've been brainwashed. That chicken ate food. That food is what provided the chicken with the protein. Your protein should only come from where protein comes from. Protein does not come from animals. Animals just eat it and then you just eat an animal for some unknown reason. Animals are full of fat and cholesterol. You don't want the cholesterol and you don't want that fat in your body. Not unless you're starving to death, okay? You don't have any other options. What you want to do is you want to get it from the main source. Stop obsessing about protein. No one has ever died of protein deficiency. If you're looking at building up, if you're looking for getting stronger, build up, guys, build up. Man, you're looking at beans, you're looking at a lot of different things, but not looking at meat. Anyways, don't be average. Don't, don't be average because if you want to be average, if you want to be accepted by everybody, if you don't want to stand out, if you don't want to be like, oh, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Or guess what? You're going to have their diseases. And I don't want you to think about people that you know because that gets too personal. I want you to think about society as a whole. If you want to sign up for four meds and be going to the doctor like every three to six months or whatever they do, sign up. Life's too short to eat healthy. What the? What? What? So, because life's short, you don't, man, life's too short, man. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I could go out and die tomorrow. What? Okay. No. That's like saying, man, I'm not going to save any of my money. I'm going to live paycheck to paycheck. I'm going to blow my thing and I'm not going to save a penny. It's, it's the same it's the same. I, life is short. I'm going to go max out all my credit cards. I, <laughs> and you know what? Some people have that attitude. You know what? That's cool. You know, because I understand that. You know, like, let's say if you're on death's door and you're not leaving any debt to anybody and you know you're going to die and you got like 10 credit cards and you want to max them out and there's no way for you to heal and the, the doctor's giving you two days to live. I mean, go for it. I mean, obviously... That's not economical advice on my behalf or financial advice, nor is any of this medical advice, but oh my gosh. Anyway, what I'm saying is that try to try to try to be consistent, try to improve, you know, just love yourself and know that you're, you know, every, every day is a new day to be able to start over, to be able to look at things in a new light. And um Yeah, you know, plan on short-term happiness, plan on long-term happiness. Short-term is that you feel great, you're healing every day. You know, you can get out, you can do what you want to outside, you feel good, and you don't have any pain. You know, I would rather have no pain in my body and no potential disease, about a 98% chance of no disease throughout my whole life, 98, than to just eat food that put fireworks off in my head. Because the food I'm eating, I'm enjoying. I'm not suffering a bit. And this water tastes really good. But I used to hate water. I hated water. I, I came up with a, and I said this in other videos, but I came up with like a support group for water. Guys, get a Fitbit, mark down how much water you drink. It might take you over a year for you to be able to train yourself. Only drink distilled water. It doesn't have any minerals in it, thank God, because the minerals they put into the water, the small water bottles, your body can't digest them. The fluoride that they put them in is horrible, and every one of those little water bottles tastes different because they want to get you addicted to only one type of water, and that stuff they put in there is not healthy. That is not from nature. Nature right here, nature, nature is going to be from a well water or spring water if you can go to them and get it, all right? If you can't, what I want you to do is I want you to go distill. Distill easy, dollar something, a bottle. Um, yeah, don't be buying that stuff that's full of sugar. Don't be... Don't be buying that stuff that's going to... Don't be drinking those sodas. Do not drink that. That soda is only going to... Okay, until you've completely detoxed yourself, that soda, whatever kind of soda it is, full of corn syrup, full of sugar, 
if your body is not completely oh, just cleaned out, okay, that's when sugar will feed disease. Disease will eat off of it. So you're feeding the disease. It's never good to drink that stuff, but especially if you have a detox, okay? I want you to think about that. Because there's really nothing wrong with it if there's no disease in your body. But if you've been eating horribly, probably disease in your body. Remember, cancer takes 10 years before you can detect it. That's growing in your body. vegetable oil do your research on it all oil I do not partake in that oil all it is is pure fat nothing good in oil no olive oil nothing do your research but you got to do the research behind the research behind the research because they're gonna try to give you doubt you do not need oil oil has nothing to do with anything if you're gonna get your oil and you're gonna get oil Remember I said avocados, eight to, eight to 12? There's oil in avocados. The way our creator designed for us to be able to have oil naturally. If he had wanted us to eat oil from a laboratory that a man manufactured, he would, <laughs> if he had wanted us to have it, we would be able to get oil in nature and um, it would be something that was naturally occurring. I mean, it's just, what I'm saying is that it's not healthy. There are reasons to use some of it, like walnut oil, to be able to, if you have a thyroid issue, rub it on your neck. But beyond that, no, sir. No, no, no. to be able to have those live videos hopefully we'll be able to have those soon maybe get some questions and answers going on <clears throat> can y'all tell I like trap music if you never checked it out check it out it's pretty cool oh. I don't I don't really yeah I mean I like it because it doesn't have any words to it most of the time This is a good beat, good, uh, good beat to work out with too. <clears throat> if you watch some other videos, Frank Sinatra, he took a little break, but he'll be back. <laughs> no, it's true. One thing I'll be sure to take today, highly encourage everyone, not medical advice, do take your vitamin C folks. Also your D3. Why did I share that? Because they're on the counter. And I'm just spitting stuff randomly, man. Oh, oh dude. Oh, ow. Uh. Let's just say, that's a lot of water. Oh, it's getting a moment to move around there, so. Uh. Pretty insane. All right. Oh. oh. Eat your bananas. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eat your bananas. Eat your bananas. Mm, 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 mm. Eat your bananas. Eat your bananas. Eat your bananas. I don't know what I'm doing. I told you, Chad. Eat your banana. 
Hey, Google. What happens if you eat one banana a day? On the website healthline.com, they say, eating too many bananas may have detrimental health effects, such as weight gain, poor blood sugar control, and nutrient deficiencies. See, not medical advice, but... <sighs> I think that's a complete lie. And I think it's... You know, I gotta tell you, my humble opinion, I don't think. Society's not designed to keep us healthy, because if it did, if it was, we wouldn't die so young. We wouldn't die off so young. You know, you've got villages that have, that are called centurion areas, where people are like healthy, they're like over 100 years old, they're out surfing. Man, come on. I can tell you this, the government's not going to want anybody living that long. But let me tell you what I mean by that. I don't mean anything negative. But just think, just think on Social Security. If everybody lived to be 100 years old, now no one, not many people will. You can live to be 100 if you eat healthy and you treat your body right, right? But, I mean, just think of how long they'd pay paying out Social Security. That'd be like over like 25 years longer. And they are to people that are healthy and 100 years old. Yeah. You know, they're sitting, chilling out on the beach. No pain. Taking it easy. Surfing. You know, living the good life. Why shouldn't you? Why is it designed in our society where you retire at 65 or 67, now 70 years old? And your life expectancy, folks, is like 75. We lost two years this past year. That's crazy. The society, the main part of society did. Okay? You can either be part of the main part of society or you can be what I like to consider detached from the matrix. Because you're thinking on your own. You're no longer going with the, on with the herd. And you look for the lies and everything. What I mean is, I'm not trying to be negative here, but like the food pyramid, come on guys. That food pyramid that they have is just totally jacked up. Always has been. There is no truth in that. When you look at why they say a person needs dairy or meat, oh my gosh, that's just totally jacked. Just so much misinformation there. And then you're talking about bread. And they don't even talk about gluten or anything like that. So, they, whoo, and then you, you go to the store. When you go to the store, you look for honey, right? They don't have honey from the store. You know, they're trying, they're still, you know, they don't have organic honey. You gotta buy organic honey, get it directly. You know, I get mine from the Amish. Man, there's just so many things. Just, they're pumping people full of soda. There's commercials full of soda. You know, it's a free society, but good. Golly. And then, yeah, it's just, it, I don't know. It's crazy. If you, if you want to get healthy, you got to break apart about, I mean, you have to break out. You've got to think differently. You got to ask yourself, do I want to be pain free? If you have arthritis, do you want to get rid of it? If you have pains in your joints, do you want to get rid of it? Do you know what's being caused, being caused by inflammation? I'm off, man, this is a water mug thing. What am I doing? Somebody need to hear that news. I'm not sorry for sharing it. All right, guys, y'all have a good day. Again, Play Face Ninja, thank you for showing up. Love to have you part of my channel. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Check out the smoothies that we made the uh, last couple of days. And uh, yeah, y'all be good. I'll be doing some FaceTime later.